Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, this is what happens when your package says Eric Outer, but your wife orders stuff under the name Eric Outer all the time and thinks this is hers and rips it open. And well, this was going to be a cool little unboxing of a fantastic belt from the company Arcade. Now here, a performance stretch belt, very simple yet at the same time, I'm hoping this is gonna be a great option for hiking, camping, backpacking, outdoor activities, things where you have a lot of movement, you need to keep your pants where they belong, but at the same time, you're gonna have just enough flexibility to stay comfort for those long all day events. So in today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to bust this out. We're going to take a look at it in a little bit of detail. Then I'm going to actually go out. I got a pretty substantial hike coming my way. We're going to use this belt for that hike, get the overall impressions, and well, hopefully this performs exactly as I need. And so when we get back, we'll get into this. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Arcade Belts who did provide this for review. And if you guys like this content, do me a favor, take a look in the description box below where you can get more details. I'll have relevant links for where you can find these Arcade Belts. Whenever possible, I will add affiliate links and discount codes. So take a look in the description box below for more details. And I'd just like to remind you that I currently have a gear giveaway. I'm trying to give away all of my gear, but there's only one way for you to take advantage of that. Do me a favor, take a look in the description box below where you can find all the details. Now, the first thing I'm going to say, clearly they are paying attention using recycled materials. So fully recycled packaging, reimagine, reuse with recycled reprieve arcade. So they're paying attention to the details. Now I'll get a little bit more into the arcade mentality in just a minute, but as we get into this here, their performance stretch belt. And so as we get into this here, arcadebelts.com, this is one of their new buckles. So they're calling this the Habila Nueva. So the Habila Nueva belt. Here, again, this is a stretch belt, and I saw this pattern, and I loved it. I'm a big fan of camo patterns. I do utilize camo patterns quite a bit, and when I saw this, it absolutely called my name. So this pattern here is called the Terraflage, and in their navy oat combination, so there's a couple different combinations here, but I like the deep blue. I like that sort of tan, and I thought this just looked amazing. So this is going to be an all day wear for me on many, many, many occasions. And while I go deep into the outdoor wilderness environment, the mountains and places where, again, I want to have that all day comfort with that stretch, but my pants absolutely cannot fall down. They cannot. This is going to be critical to make sure that this absolutely works for my needs. I'm going to have a backpack on with a good amount of weight. It's going to be tugging at me mile after mile after mile. And the last thing I can have is just the frustration of being on the trails and feeling like my pants are falling down. So this arcade belt is absolutely going to get a test. And that's what Arcade's telling us. Functional, lightweight, durable. The belts are designed to provide comfort, the best fit, and the right amount of flexibility while never letting your pants down. And again, we're going to hope for the best. So we have a few things to talk about. Of course, that stretchy material there. So you can see nice quality elasticized bands. So that's going to have that flex you end up with a quality, durable buckle, so a high-density molded plastic buckle. And again, as we take a look at the other side here, you can see it's going to clip together. Feels fairly stout. Nice, easy buttons here to depress that, and that releases the buckle. You have basically infinite adjustability. So as we take a look at this, we're going to slide this along, get it adjusted to the proper tension. And then you're making up the slack with this little retention strap here. So you can see it says arcade and that's the back end nicely trimmed out. I like that. So as you take a look at the tail end here, nicely trimmed out, little attention to detail, but that does go a long way in my book, even though technically 
you know, some of this stuff, you're not really going to see it with a belt that's kind of, you know, tucked away or hidden away. But at the same time, the little places where it matters, they're paying attention to the detail. So I like that. On the buckle, you can also see here, very subtle, but little A logo there. So the little A logo, pretty nice. So I like the overall quality of the craftsmanship. It looks fantastic. Tons and tons and tons of different styles and colors. This was the one that really called to me. Uh, these belts have been noted in many different publications, like for example, Outside Magazine, Backpacker Magazine, Men's Health. And there are some pretty notable people that have tested these and tried them out on behalf of Arcade. So with that, let's get it fit and appropriate to size and we'll go from there. Again, this is micro adjustable up to about a 40 inch waist. Now I am six foot one, 175 pounds, and I have roughly a 32 inch waist. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how much I need to take out of this. I am demonstrating today wearing jeans, but what I can tell you is for the most part, I will definitely be wearing some sort of performance pants. I typically wear nice high quality performance materials while I'm on the trails, which end up typically just a little bit thinner than what you would have here with the denim. However, this is at least going to be a way to get me started and I'm going to test fit this and wear this belt throughout the day today just to start to get a feel for it because if it's not going to do what I need here in the studio, well, how's it supposed to perform? out on the trails. I nailed the size on this. I mean, that's just maybe a touch tight and it's crimping my pants down a little bit. But what I can tell you is I'm sort of in between sizes on the pants and the fact that that's good and tight there is about perfect already. So I don't even think I really need to adjust this anymore, which shows you that the tag end here goes to around there. If I needed to adjust this, I could probably, and I'm gonna take a look at this. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is basically just slide the inside here over just as much as I think I need and then adjusting here this should pull out and it does and that gives me just a little bit more room so that's pretty easy as you take a look at it from a style perspective again this is the terraflage color so terraflage in navy oat combination so at this point let's test this thing out and if things go well, it will make it to the mountains. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the performance stretch belt from Arcade. All in all, very simple yet effective. This did a wonderful job, literally keeping my pants where I needed them to be, but it was comfortable. It did a nice job. It has a beautiful look. I love this pattern. I think it's just a gorgeous looking belt. And all in all, it definitely did its job and did its job well. That was a substantial trip. What you didn't see in all the footage was the fact that I literally went 12 plus hours. It was 15 miles, almost 5,800 feet of elevation gain, good size pack, difficult terrain. And the fact is, those are the conditions where I need performance. Those are the conditions where I can't be complaining and just bummed out that my pants are falling down all day. And so having a good quality belt for those situations definitely makes sense. It is critical. 
And beyond all of that, it's flat enough, thin enough, and sits down really thin enough on my waist that it doesn't bulk up against the waist belt of my pack. And to me, that's another critical point. The fact that I can wear my pack comfortably, the fact that the pack isn't riding on the belt and the belt wearing into my hips or, you know, wearing you know, into my stomach or things like that. So to have a belt that slimline and works in that capacity, definitely awesome. So for hiking, camping, backpacking, all those outdoor excursions, the Arcade Performance Stretch Belt definitely doing a nice job. And so I would like to remind you that I do have links in the description box below for where you can find one of these Arcade belts. To the people at Arcade, thank you so much for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.